Okay, what are we moving into? The, the, the European Dallas. ban or the obvious story of the week regarding Apple? <laughs> you said Apple tax one day and uh, uh, lying down for it's on day one. I can I can actually believe that because um, from I have Lion uh, and the the way I guess I'd have to look more in depth in the numbers. I didn't read the article, but I could say for sure that. The licensing and the way it works, um, I can definitely see for like a household easily getting one million dollars. Oh, I, I see them getting the one million. I think what's more interesting than the one million claim is the buzz I've been hearing over the last few weeks. Phil, did you go? To the, did you upgrade the line? Um, uh, I did initially, but uh, there's been some bits and pieces that weren't working, so I ended up coming backwards again. But that is, the, and that's what I've been hearing out of everybody. <laughs> They're like, yeah. Yeah, I, I want to go back to my snow leopard. It's like. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm having. I'm, I've got it on uh, the mini because I've got no option with that because there's nothing you can do with that. But uh, uh, on the Mac Pro, I'm, I'm, like I said, I took a step back to snow leopard because there was bits and pieces that were just going absolutely crazy. Here you go. The audience can see. Here's my. Here's my uh, screen. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get. You see the hard drive test? Right there where my mouse is? Yeah. That's what my client is. See, that's, that, that is my line hard drive, you know, for programming. What, what I'm running on right now, it's still still up. Yeah. I can't ever, I can't ever, people already know, I mean, I can't ever upgrade my main system hard drive to the active, to the new operating system. It took me forever to upgrade this main system from Leopard. I think it was a year, like a, almost, almost a year later. Well, no, but see, uh, I, I'm the same way even with Linux, with my favorite Linux distro. My primary production system over here, I am right. slow to fully update that to the latest rolling and everything because I'm doing too many things. I don't reboot it enough. But it's just pretty much on 24-7. I can't be screening with stuff. And that's the same way it's like with your primary work system. Although, I mean, these are like average, some of these are even, like, I love Apple people, but they're like, I know Lion. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. There's a lot of people complaining about scrolling and features, and, and um, I look, I had the goal, I've had all the betas for a long time, and obviously we've known that from watching the other show. Yeah, but well, we weren't allowed to excessively yeah. talk about that. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, but, it, it, you know, I, it's... I don't think, I don't find it all that bad. I mean, there are you have to dig for the features and things, um, but there's obviously incompatibilities, and that's it, it, it speaks volumes to the fact of so many successful upgrades of say, let's say, Lion really dictates to me of how little computing people do in the masses, and, it's, and it is, and, and which speaks for an argument of saying, well, do they really need? A desktop, something that we have discussed before, you know, on the yeah. in, in tablets versus versus desktop. Because if, if someone can, and I hear people say, "Oh, I just do a fresh install." I, I just do a fresh. You know how many times I hear that? I just do a fresh install. I look at them crazy. For me to do that, all my super Yeah. Stuff. I, I, do you man, know man, man, how man. many weekends I would have to work to do <laughs> a fresh install? It's like <laughs> <laughs> it's a freaking nightmare. I can't, I can't even do that with my Windows. I, 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 I don't. I don't own a single computer I could do that with. <laughs> not not one. <laughs> not any of these three computers that I have here. Can I just go? Oh, I was going to do a fresh install. Oh, hell no! <laughs> what the hell? Not happening. Well, if you think about it, the people who can do that are people who the most important thing on their computer is their video games and, and their Facebook. media. And in that case, you know, Steam is now on OS X, so all you have to do is reload Steam and then wait a weekend while all your stuff redownloads and relaunch iTunes and wait a weekend while all your stuff downloads. And, and that begs you, the question, why did you need to upgrade in the first place? Yeah. <laughs> well, because it's new and shiny and, and jobsy. And <laughs> like, what, about, what about you, Philip? Uh, uh, can you do a fresh install? <laughs> well, I mean, the, the, the part for me that, I mean, um, the, 
majority of my stuff was easy. The part that was painful was the iTunes library. I mean, I, I had to set that going to a hard drive overnight because I've got. I mean, I've got so much stuff in there. With I think I've <laughs> overdone it on the podcast a little bit, if I'm honest. <laughs> and uh, so I've had, I left that running overnight to an external drive, and then had it moved over when I got up the next day, and then re- reinstalled everything. So it is a painful thing to do. So I'm t- I'm not going anywhere near. Uh, line now until the Mac Mini starts to be more stable because like I say I, I, the problems I was getting on uh, the Mac Pro I'm, I can still see that there's some on the Mac Mini so until Lion's what, what, what problems are you getting if you don't mind saying what, what problems are you getting Phil that you don't mind if you don't mind saying uh, well just uh, bits and pieces crashing and also um, when I was put in wait a minute I've got Macs don't crash what <laughs> No, 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 no. It's a strategic withdrawal from operating status. <laughs> that is awesome. See, I fixed it. <laughs> Anyways, what, what, what else is it doing? But then also, um, when I was on uh, the Mac Pro, when uh, before I backtracked, when I was putting apps into Launchpad, sometimes they were showing up in Launchpad, but then when I looked on in then when I clicked on them, it was saying they weren't they didn't exist and when I looked in my applications folder they weren't there. So things were showing up that weren't uh-huh. even there. That's the number no, that that is one of the two number one complaints I've been hearing. Launchpad and complaints about the way mission control re implements. Oh well, no, he said applications. I thought he said applications. Yes, he did. Yeah, yeah, that's that, that's long. The application's not showing up. Happened to my parents on a solar but upgrade. Yeah. yeah uh, so like I said, I think I'm gonna. Uh, the good thing is at least I've got the, 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 the Mac Mini ain't got nothing important on it. So what I probably will do is when it seems more stable, I'll do a reinstall on the Mac Mini just to make sure. And if it seems all all clear in a few months, then I'll move up again on the Mac Pro once it's, it seems stable enough. Well, my, my it, parents are gonna be stuck on the leopard. Forever. That's it. You know, they don't. Uh, they, they love the Mac the way it is. She, my parents have yeah, my you know, and, and, and on, on that note, in, in yeah. some cases, Leopard is becoming the XP of OS X. You know, it's the I like it. It works. I'm not getting rid of it. I'm not upgrading to blah blah or blah blah. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> it, I just have no need to really go to Snow Leopard in terms of the computing. I mean, it's it's. It's something that I put on them uh, on their system because like we, we bought the family pack and I had to reverse install it and, and use a time machine backup to put them back. I mean, it was terrible. It, 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 every icon on the dock had a question mark. It was it was, it was the weirdest thing you'd ever seen in your life. I was like, what the hell? I was tough. Snow Leopard was a system that scared me the most um, in, in terms of when I tried to upgrade it to systems. This line went smoother, but... Um, Man, Snarper scared the Jesus out of me in terms of results that I got. And well, no, the, 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 yeah. that's that's actually the thing I'm looking at there. It's like it's like uh, it, when I look at Lion, I'm looking at it in the same way that I look at Windows 7 to Windows Vista, in that it's more of the same, but they've learned from the dress rehearsal of the one that came before. And they, yeah, I mean that's you know, we can't, but that is hard in software, guys. I mean, that's what oh, no, it's no, like, I, 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 I don't know why we critique these companies and say, "Oh, you did a small upgrade of software," and 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 boohoo on you. What? You know, these guys got to step and be a programmer and look how hard it is when you radically change code. I remember when I had to do that for my hospital program. I had to go when I first, like, I'll give you a great example. When I first built my hospital program many, many years ago, it was designed for one branch only. Mm-hmm. And so if hospital, as a hospital, had multiple hospitals under its name, and they needed to communicate with each other, my program was like, holy crap, what are you talking well, about? No, and, 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 and that right there goes back to yeah. software can only grow as far without a complete gut and redesign to how modular you put it. And the reality is, no matter how good a program you are, no matter how many specs someone gives you, someday down the road, it's going to need to grow beyond its original intention. At which point, if, if, if the software developer was not God and thought, you know what, even though nobody's telling me this, I think a decade from now, this particular piece is going to need to be modular. <laughs> Aside from that, it you're right. It's a nightmare. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I mean, and, and I had to retool it. That took a while just to 
way to it to have multiple branches of a, of a, of a hospital um, because uh, the, I have larger hospitals using my software. So I understand what these operating systems go through, and they have a lot more to deal with than, than my higher level programming. Oh, no, no, I, I, I can sum it up in the classic phrase, computers, even Apple computers, are fast idiots. <laughs> That's just what, computers are fast idiots. That's what they are. It's not, you know, it's the people who tell them what it's like, and it's, they don't, un, they don't know anything you didn't tell them. It's, it, you, the simplest thing, they don't know. That's <laughs> like, <laughs> I know, and, and, and you know, it's so it's so funny because it's so alien to somebody and say, "Why did you update?" It's, it's, it's the newest operating system. Yeah, but why do you really need it? I mean, give me a legitimate reason on, on in terms of computing why you really need that update. You know, and, and, and most of the time, if all these people are doing fresh installs, it tells me you don't really need the operating system. You just want all the bells and whistles, which are really superficial to you, and you can feel good. That you have the latest and greatest. I mean, to me, it's um, that's a valid consumer thing because they're putting their money up to buy something. I'm just saying, it's from from a technical point of view, what are you doing? That's. You know, uh, uh, we I, I I don't know about your two cents on this, Philip, but my personal opinion is most consumers don't actually think from a technical standpoint. They think from a I want it standpoint. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I, I'd be, I mean, I'm not be just going back to how, from my perspective, how I was a few years ago, I don't think probably a lot of people know the half of what goes on inside their computers or what's even in there, some of them. So I think, you know, it's just purely, as you say, when something comes out and it's brand new, it's like, oh dear, my one's, you know, so far behind the line now, I've got to get the new one. Well, and, and honestly, uh, to, in my personal opinion, if you're really that far behind, that's actually one of the one of the worst things you can do, because you'll go through the where the hell is it syndrome, because you are so far behind. It's like if you if honestly, I think if you went straight from what was the one just before Tiger, I I, I, I don't think anybody would make this transition, but like if you had an early version of Tiger Panther? or Panther, and you went straight to Lion, you'd have a seizure. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you do. There is a point where you have to upgrade because you're forced to in terms of legacy. Yeah. Uh, but but see, my parents have made that decision that why on earth would they? They they've got all the software they need. You know, they're, they're, of course they're old. You know, I mean, they, they, they just they're not going to do anything else with in, in terms of what they consider computing. So. Who cares? You know, well, let's see. Th that goes right to the core of the theory that I have. One of the real trends in the industry as a whole right now is to simplify everything to the big shiny button so that grandma's happy. And I'm like, grandma, more and more of the grandma user, your parents and so forth, have reached the point where they're like, I'm done. I'm <laughs> done. I don't want to learn anything new. So trying to dumb everything down and simplify it to make them happy is the <laughs> biggest waste of time of any resources whatsoever, and, and because they're they're done. They're, they're like, right. I'm done. Okay. I give up. But I'm done. <laughs> when, like, gets, when you say that, I mean, what gets me about about that exact situation of, the, of companies dumbing down like devices and computers for the older generation, as it were? My my problem with that is it's like. You know, who's going to be, you know, the ones who are going to be using these things long term? Is it going to be the older generation or the younger generation who, who are going to want to learn? You know what I mean? It's going to be the younger ones who are going to have the longer time term using these things. So surely you, you do it for their speed, not for the older generation. Well, and see, that has to do with a demographic that most people don't think about. But in terms of generational divides right now, if you want to be profitable or at least maximize profit, you sell to the baby boomers because guess what? You know, Ben and my parents and so forth. Why? Because there's more of them than us. <laughs> Granted, not only that, I think we have a generation of, of. Is it bad to say useful idiots? I don't. I mean, it's just like. Uh, nah, I, mean, I, I think that's kind, actually. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm just saying, there's a generation. I think of people of. of, of like standing in, I use my analysis of standing in line. They're more concerned about the Britney Spears song coming up versus, uh, you know, old school tech talk when I used to stand in line for Apple. So, I mean, it's just we have a, a generation that maybe is as simple that, that could 
care less if it, if, if it took them 20 minutes to type a letter, but it made them feel cool through a touch way of doing it versus myself that I could get it done in one minute. That 15 minutes to them in their life is, hey, who gives a crap to them? Because, you know, I don't. I feel good about how I look and doing my touch little thing and yeah, it makes me feel cool yeah. and, and it's so simple. No, I, I, I don't understand this, people, because I, I'm with you. I want I want it as efficient as possible, even if it has to go a little technical. Isn't that the point of computers? Well, no. I mean, I, it's going to take you 15 minutes to do something on a computer. Go back to paper. That That's the point of, in my opinion, progress in general, because in my, uh, my personal opinion is the my most valuable asset or resource is not the little unhappy green pieces of paper, it's not my degrees, it's not my jobs, it's not whether people recognize me or anything. It is literally the one resource I can never replace, and that is the finite amount of time I have in this corporeal form. Regardless of your theological and everything else, whether you think one day humans will be able to time travel, the reality is I have a finite span of time, and every moment of it is of value to me. <laughs> I want to use it as productively as possible. Man, so how far did we digress from the show notes? Oh, God, we've gotten all over the place, we but that's fine. It's, dude, it's been... Well, no, we, that did cover it, I mean, because we were talking about $1 million of fine, so we started... Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Upgrading we, so we, we've, we've, gone we've, we've gone on yeah. large tangents, but it's been four weeks since we've done a show. I think we're allowed. 